I just f***ing got it. Why are you gonna light it on fire? Why? Look it. I have nothing now. You take my family away from me. Now you light my car on fire. That's all I f***ing had. It's where the f*** I sleep and you light this on fire. You left your cigarette. No, I didn't. A cigarette would not cause that. That's how I get the work. So apparently this video is a few years old but I've just come across it now and the story is is that's his ex-wife, she's just taken the kids, they've got divorced, that car's the only thing he's got left and she's burned it down. Now I was trying to find out what happened afterwards and I looked on Reddit, looked on YouTube, I couldn't find any articles. A lot of people are saying that she actually went to jail, he got his kids back and he got another car. Hopefully that's true and the bystanders are pissing me off as well, they're like let it go, what's done is done. That's the only thing he's got left, that's the only way he gets to work after losing everything. You can hear that's the last straw and there's people actually consoling the woman more than him. Hopefully he did get everything back but if it is true there's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets. Some dudes especially with like the whole Andrew Tate thing some dudes actually care about body count and shit that's so you toxic. Guys, I'm top G. Body count matters. Mm. Fuck no. In fact the higher the better. Haram. You actually know what you're doing in bed. So, so I have a question would you guys say your body count? No. So if it doesn't matter like why don't people just say it? What's your body? I wouldn't say it. No, no you, you know what I'm saying. My friends. Yeah, not on, on yeah, you know what I'm just, But it's just, it's just interesting because we'll say it doesn't matter. But then it's like, if it doesn't matter, why doesn't everyone just say it? Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. So do you feel like you choose toxic men? A hundred percent. I yeah. have the worst taste in men. Yeah. It's mm. terrible. So where does that shit? You fun? Like, no. See, <laughs> see, no. You can't keep doing that. No, yeah. I do want to be in love and I do want to be happy, but like, I don't really connect with that many people. And like, when I like the person, I don't know. I guess they'd be kind of toxic. Like. I just don't know what it is. No, <laughs> and I could have a man and he was 100% faithful to me. And he was everything that I asked for. He was funny, smart, successful, with a big <laughs> and no kids, and <laughs> tall and dark skin. No, <laughs> right, goes on. Well, then you're an absolute muppet, then, isn't you? You're throwing that all down the drain for what? To go and tell everybody about it on a podcast. Congratulations. You played yourself. Just think about being a woman. I don't think a man can handle oh, the, yeah, no. the thing. Physically, we're stronger. Yeah. Okay. It, and it has nothing Or maybe to mentally. Do with. I cried like for three hours yesterday for no reason. Just cause. Bro, we on the best thing right now. Yeah. One of the best things. They didn't even answer the question. They just started talking about men for no reason. And then she says, oh, we're physically stronger, which I'm not even gonna go into because that's a load of bullshit. But then she said, oh, we're mentally stronger. I cried like for three hours yesterday for no reason. Just cause. Bro. I don't know if this podcast is trolling or what, because I saw another clip as well, which is ridiculous. Listen to this. Drake's a short king. Drake's not that tall. I was wearing like three inch heels, four inch maybe, like not that tall. And I was eye level or maybe even a little taller than him. Right when we got out, we're like, Drake's short. She's like, yeah. Like we, all his pictures are probably taken from like, Low angles. Low angles yeah. and he hangs out with short people. I don't know what standards women have these days. I don't know if they expect every man to be able to play in the fucking NBA. But Drake is not a short king. Drake's six foot one. In what world is six foot one a short king? I think she was just trying to name drop and she didn't have a story, so she just said this. It still didn't make you interesting. It just made you sound like a muppet. You were seeing a girl you've been on like two dates. Yeah, mm. it's not serious. And she bought you a whole PS5. Would you like it? Or you're a bit like, that's too much. If she's bought you a PS5 after two days, that means she's just trying to keep holding you. And then if you do leave after that, she's gonna be like, I bought you a PS5, she's gonna use it against you. Now, if you don't want anything used against you, I'd say don't accept that PS5. What happens when these women want families? I think they become nurturing. I think women, the minute they find the person that they think they want to have a family with, become nurturing versus independent. I think they wanna have their sense of independence and they try to keep their sense of independence, but I think they naturally become nurturing. So then wouldn't that mean that the woman's feminine role is conditional while the man's masculine role is static? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I would. Okay, isn't that a privilege for women to be able to pick and choose when they want to be feminine? But I think yeah. that's, I think that's, I think we deserve it. Why not? I and men get everything girl. else in the world. What can you free Western women not have that we can have? You can have exactly the same. You've got the same opportunities. You can go get the same jobs. You can live in the same houses. Stop trying to fucking act like victims. Men are... I think there is. Okay, but wouldn't that basically be saying that you're okay with the double standards only when it benefits you and you're only complaining about the double standards when it doesn't benefit you? No, I wouldn't say... That's picking and choosing, right? I get, I get exactly what you're saying. Are you sure about that? But I do also think that double standards are a part of our life, and I think men still benefit from double standards all the time. Can you name any double standards that benefit men? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Go!
Daddy! Double standards, it's all take, 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 me, me, me. One rule for us and another rule for them. If you knew that you would get back together at a later date, would you break up now and go wild? Ooh. I mean, like, I'm still young. Like, I, I don't see why I shouldn't. You know, you've got to live your life sometimes, but... What would you probably, do? Probably... Because you're young? No, I wouldn't. My answer would probably be yeah. <laughs> oh, so he would break up with you? He would break up, so that's mad. Do like, what? Hold what on. do you do? So you, what do you think he's gonna do? He may have just self sabotaged his relationship right there. They definitely had an argument after that, that's for sure. It sounds to me like he's not too ready for a relationship and he needs to go live his life. When you're a young guy, it's normal you wanna do that. Fellas, when you're younger, stay single, still have fun, but focus on yourself. Men are the easiest thing in the entire world. If you are wondering how you and another woman got the same man it is because men are the easiest thing in the entire world i have never wanted a man and not gotten him there has never been a single man that i have wanted that i have not gotten because men they are cheap and easy <laughs> Hang on a minute, Mia Khalifa has officially announced her divorce from Robert Sandberg with the couple parting ways after two years of marriage. The divorce comes nearly a month after the duo celebrated their second wedding anniversary. So whilst it might be easier for you to bed a man, it's not that easy for you to keep a man, especially when you got a bit of a crazy past. How much money is in your bank account? I have to check. What is 600k? My parents. Your parents sent you 600,000? Maybe. What type of parents do you have sending you 600k? They own funeral homes. That will make you 600k? Yeah. Two hours later. There's two things that are stupid about this video. The fact that she said that on camera and also the fact that her parents are sending the 600,000. For what, bruv? It's good that they've worked hard and they can support their kids financially, but 600,000? I don't know how you girls do it. I don't know how you girls date a guy that doesn't drive. Like, how can you date a guy that don't drive? Like, man's taking bus to come and link you, that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a fat old oh. Self-made man that you might see driving a Lamborghini or on a super yacht was probably taking a bus one day as well. Not because you're taking a bus now that you're going to be taking one tomorrow. Look at Conor McGregor and his wife. When she was first with him, she was driving him to his training sessions every single day. He didn't have a car, but she believed in him. And now look. If a girl really likes you, she doesn't care if you're eating steak or corn dogs. Bam, straight up. Okay, so why'd you give him your side? Just, it's in the moment, like, I'm just- Why can't you, you say, say, I have a man, I don't want to give you my Snapchat? Honestly, I don't have Snapchat. Fuck off. Okay. I don't give my number out. That's like- But you give out Snap and Insta. Snap is whatever. Okay. No, not Insta. Snap is whatever. People seem to still think there's a massive difference between giving your phone number and giving your Snap and your Instagram when someone's actually asked you for it. I know people can find you easily and anyone can follow you if you have a public account or whatever. But if someone comes up to you and personally says, can I have your Snap? Can I have your Instagram? That is just as bad as giving your phone number. If you think someone just wants it just to follow you, that's bullshit. They want it to talk to you. So in my opinion, if a guy asks your girl for her Instagram and she gives it to him, she belongs to the streets.